It is a three-dimensional world, and our bodies need to move in all three directions. Improving three-dimensional movement means reducing the risk of injury, making your daily movements easier, and of course, achieving fitness goals. Understanding planes of motion is the secret to a well-balanced workout. And recognizing a compensation or distortion in specific planes is the key to quickly helping your future clients. Human movement occurs in three planes of motion. They are called sagittal, frontal, and transverse planes. The sagittal plane divides the body into left and right halves. Think about sagittal plane movements that move forward and backward, such as walking, cycling, and squatting. Imagine walls that are parallel left and right side of a person. The only movement that can occur between these two imaginary walls is forward and backward. Now let's think about polka movements that would be in this sagittal plane. Warrior two would be an example of a sagittal plane movement. Queen pigeon would be an example of a sagittal plane movement. The frontal plane divides the body into front half and back half. The frontal plane movements occur from side to side, such as jumping jacks or side lunges. Here, imagine parallel walls that are in front of the body and behind the body. If a person is restricted by walls in front and behind, movement is limited to side to side motions. An example of a polga exercise would be extended vertical stretch. Another example would be side stretch. The transverse plane divides the body into top half and bottom half. Exercises in the transverse plane involve movements parallel to the imaginary line, mostly rotational motion. Lunges with the rotation would be an example of a transverse plane movement. An example of a polga pose using the transverse movement would be a twisted forward lunge. Some exercises, including some polga exercises, occur in one plane of motion. However, the human movement system should be conditioned in all three planes of motion to maximize fitness levels and reduce risk of injury. Exercising in all three planes of motion improves coordination and muscle activation. Additionally, many muscles work in two or three planes, not just one. So to adequately condition the muscles of the body requires multiplanar movement. A perfect example of a multiplane movement in polga would be swizzle stick. As a polga pole yoga fitness professional, it is important to select a variety of exercises that move a client through all three planes of motion. You can also bring new levels of three-dimensional challenges by incorporating multiplanar exercises to your routines and polga activities.